Welcome back to Let's Look at the French Tanks. I'm DuckNuck84, and we're going to continue with our look at the often neglected French line. And we're going to start with the Tier 3 tanks, now that we finished up with Tier 2s. And the first one we're going to be looking at today is the AMX-38. Now, some features of the AMX-38 has 60 front armor on the turret as well as the hull, which is rather good for a tier 3 and carries over 40 on the sides and rear just like the Hotchkiss had so armored wise it is pretty good for a tier 3 tank um, speed wise it's a little improved from the Hotchkiss it can get about oh I don't know I want to say 28 27 on uh, level ground which is a slight improvement although like other French tanks, has trouble on the hills. Um, as you can see with its uh, rather unique turret there, has lots of angular areas which can lead to deflection of shots from your enemy, although you still have weak points on the side you know, ports here, the back as usual, and direct hit right there will also probably cause you to get a penetrating hit. Sides probably will as well, but because of the angle, they're more likely to be deflected. Now, when you play this game, not this, when you play this game, when you play this tank, you're going to start out with the 37 SA-38, which came over from the Hotchkiss. In fact, a lot of equipment for this tank uh, carries over from the Hotchkiss. You got the 25 again, which is still carried over. And you also have the radios right here. Recommend equipping this right away since it's a free carryover from the Hotchkiss, and that will improve some of your uh, signal range because uh, the tank on the whole has a pretty abysmal signal and view range. But, you know, you start out with the SA 38, which now, while it was my favorite gun to use on the Hotchkiss, because as a tier 3 tank, you're going to be in battles with tier 4 and tier 5 tanks. It really doesn't do anything for you, as it will most likely be deflected on almost every hit. Um, if you get into the matches with a couple of tier 2s and tier 3s, it can still do some damage. But, you know, if your only options are... 25 and 37 this is one of the cases where I would say go with the 25 because the extra penetration will help you a little bit however if you did play the D1 you will have also probably unlocked the SA 34 which I recommend if you are going to go on the French light tank line um, to at least play the D1 so you can get this because it is a little easier and cheaper to unlock it on the D1 then have to grind through it on the um, AMX 38 but again unlock it I wouldn't recommend equipping it as you saw with the D1 that it could barely do anything in tier 2 matches so it's going to do next to nothing on uh, tier 4 and 5 however you have to research it so that you can unlock the AMX 38's top gun, the SA 35, which is what we're going to be using today. As you can see, penetration wise, it has 45, so it's about on par with the 25 can that you should be familiar with by now. However, it does, eh, I'd say, almost twice the amount of damage, which will help you a little bit. However, even with the 45 penetration that you're going to get with this cannon because you get into again the tier 4 and tier 5s you're going to really have to pick your targets if you end up at the bottom of the list which odds are for the most part you might end up doing a lot um, your option to play the tank is really to be a passive scout which is to kind of get somewhere on the map, hide behind a bush, and then don't move and don't fire. Not really my favorite way to play, but, I mean, that is an option to gain some experience and basically scout for the artillery of any incoming uh, 
tanks be a anti-light tank tank, which you can do, but as with other French tanks you've seen, um, the slow turret traverse carries over on the AMX-38, and um, it has a pretty slow aim time, so some of those faster tanks are going to be pretty hard to hit, but you will probably be able to do some damage to them when you can hit them. Um, also, just as a side, um, the depression problem that we had with some of the other French tanks is back in the AMX-38. It is abysmal with um, most of the guns. I mean, it's, it's at least workable, but if you do keep, equip the 25, it is horrendous. You pretty much can only shoot straight and up. And even on this gun, you pretty much can only shoot straight and up. Um, so keep that in mind. And the third way to play the tank is if you get in the medium to high list of the tank of uh, the match, you can pretty much play this almost like a heavy. And that is because most of the lower tanks will not be able to penetrate your 60 frontal armor. So that's pretty much, I think, all the specs for the MX-38. Let's get into a battle and hopefully it's not going to be one where I'm up against a lot of heavy tanks. But also, like I said, you know, if you end up in the low part of the match, either do a scouting or anti-line tank, if you see a heavy tank coming your way, you know, even though you have a slow speed, it's going to be kind of hard, try to get out of there as fast as you can because they will pretty much be able to almost one-shot you with uh, their weapon. Same thing with most mediums. Um, you know, American mediums you're pretty much going to have a lot of trouble with. If you're up against some of the British mediums, which I think is like, you know, the medium three or uh, maybe the Covington, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you might be able to do some damage with those guys. But tank destroyers, again, depending on uh, the Wolverine and some of the other ones, you can damage them, but they'll, again, be able to do a lot more damage than um, you can to them. <laughs> Let's wait for the match here. Hopefully I can get into one. There we go. And, oh, I'm actually uh, pretty high, sir. I'm going to play this. Like I said, since I'm high on the list, I'm going to try to play this as a heavy tank, which is... A lot of the other tanks will have trouble penetrating my armor, hopefully. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be invincible. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go over this way. And I'm not going to go up the hill because, again, slow tank plus hill equals usual death. But maybe my little Hotchkiss friend here will go with me. Move out. But we shall see. Nope, looks like he's going to go over that way. Here we go. I got anyone coming my way? Got the artillery over there. And it looks like most of us are going to rush up the middle, which is not a good sign. That usually ends in instant death for our team. Taking a little bath there. Oh, no, it looks like some actually got smart and decided to go on the wings. Now hopefully that uh, other tank over there didn't go our way. The uh, was that M2? Actually, I could probably do some damage to them too, but still, it's a little dicey. I missed. Enemy armor is hit. Got a good shot there. We just dinged him. 
and ooh, good shot! Come on, we can do this. Missed, and I shot low on that. Got a bounce. Another missed shot. Man, I'm shooting low. I don't know why. Why are you shooting low? Penetration. Good shot there. Enemy armor is hit. Come on. Get out of there. Wide shot. Got a shot there. I just have to make sure they don't. Enemy armor is damaged. Flank me here. Ricochet. Okay. Let's see if we can take this guy out here. Shot over him there. As you can see, they're having a little trouble penetrating my armor here. Nope. Don't want to stay in the open here too long because you can get hit by the artillery. But, let's see if I can get. Vision devices damaged. Visibility decreased. Yeah, they got my vision port. Penetration. Ha ha ha, but they still haven't done any uh, major damage to me. Be careful here. So once again, have to worry about artillery. Ooh, that was close. But, my gun depression's gonna be a problem. Oh, good shot there. Shot low. Once again, shooting low. I do not know why. Okay. One more knocked out. I'm going to repair my... No, actually, I'm not going to repair my tracks with the repair kit. Let's roll. We want to save that. Okay, we're doing good. As long as they don't rush us through the middle there. Because I don't think we have anyone at our base. If they can get to our base, we're going to lose this match. Nope, tank destroyer there. Enemy armor is hit. Come on. There we go. That was a close one. Just have to make sure I don't get hit by that artillery there. Okay, I think we got this one. But still need to be careful. As I've seen turnarounds from this. I'm going to go for the artillery. can find him here. So I'm pretty sure the artillery is probably at the base. It's still hard getting up these hills though, only with 14, 15 miles an hour. Yep. 
instant death. Got our guy there, but I'm going to be able to get him, hopefully. Yep. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I got him there. Oh, the lazy pig there is actually doing pretty good. Although, since I'm at base, I'm just going to stay here. So we'll win the match that way. That was actually a pretty good match. Surprised I actually got in the uh, top part of the uh, ranking because usually I end up at the bottom, which is very painful in this tank. Oh, is he going to come after me? Yes, he is. Bounce off. Oh, aimed high there. We're immobilized. Bounce off. Penetration. One of our tracks is damaged. Penetration. See, I'm going to be able to damage him there. Bounce off. And I shot there. Why did I shoot there? Enemy armor is damaged. I shot there. Ricochet. And let's see if I can get him here. There we Enemy go. Enemy armor is destroyed. Five kills. Not bad. So I got Ooh, some pretty good medals. Got steel wall and cool headed. Not bad. 25 hits. 19 of those were penetrating hits. About 50%, but on the ones that penetrated, it was almost. What would that be? I'll say 80%. So, as you can see, if you're actually able to get into the high part of the uh, ranking, you can actually do pretty good. But, in this match, it looks like I'm going to be in the low part, so it might be a little more tricky. Because there are some Tier 4s in there, which will give us some trouble. So unfortunately on this map, I'm pretty going to have to go to, uh, pretty, probably going to have to go this way over here, as most of the heavies tend to congregate around over here. Move out. And although they only have one technical heavy, the B1, you know, I'm sure the mediums are going to go that way, too. Or at least they usually do. So we're going to go over this way. And hope that, uh... The lights will, too. Hey, watch where you're driving there. Still have to be careful of that artillery, though. Okay, what do we got? Guys, I'm not thinking I'm going to go this way here. This could be either very smart or very stupid. Got a shot there? No, I don't. Okay, this isn't good. We're down by two. Yep, like I said, their heavy went that way. Let me see if I can angle in here.
damn depression there is just killing me. I could not get any shots there. Okay, let's fucking get shot. Bounce shot! Bounce. Okay, don't see him. That's not good. Our whole uh, southern flank there looks like it got wiped out. We gotta push hard if we're gonna win this match. Although it's very unlikely we will be able to. Enemy armor is hit! Go peekaboo there. Okay, good. Got another guy to take him out. Penetration! Someone up from behind us. Okay, he's gone. Still can be an interesting match. So you got their guys going over for us over here. Which I don't know why. Ah. Not hitting anything. Okay, we got him there. I'm gonna swing around here and hopefully not have too many surprises. Yep, they're gonna to get to our base unless our artillery can take that guy out. Okay, we took their scout there out, but hopefully our artillery repositions that we're going to be in trouble. Unless we can get to their base. But with two artilleries probably guarding it, we're still going to be needing a lot of luck. Especially with me going here because I'm going to be able to be artillery food here. Yeah, so their attacking tanks are almost all the over at our base there. Took out artillery. Okay, this is going to be close. I don't know what our tank destroyer is doing there. Oh, he got a good shot. The dark there can sight the artillery. I might be able to take some of them out. This is going to be close. Okay, see if I got a shot. I have a shot. My poor aim time is terrible. Missed. Come on. Got him there. One more. Missed. And we got him. That was actually a pretty good match. A pretty close match, too. Okay, so let's see what we did. Got sharpshooter, of course. We took 17, got 7, so again, about half but almost 90% in penetrating shots. Okay. Do one more match. Now, even though I ranked low on that match, I was still able to damage most of the tanks because there really only was one heavy tank and only a couple of very light mediums. But, uh see how this match goes once you get into the uh, tier fives with the KVs and stuff you're going to be in a lot of trouble okay we're back at Provence it's a fun map to play on this guy well actually now that I think about it probably not because of that depression is going to be uh, hurting us there so we're going to want to go down 
to the uh, valley there, probably hiding my favorite spot from when I was playing the Renault. Move out. Just gonna want to hit our guy there. Look at me, I broke 30 miles an hour going down the hill. Now, although we're about uh, four or five on that, we still got to watch out for those tank destroyers. Let's, yeah, let's damage that house. I meant to do that. And a shot low again. Enemy armor is destroyed. Shot there. It's not my favorite place to hide because I have to poke myself out here to do anything. Ooh. Let's see if we can get a shot in here. My terrible aim time. Eh, I got nothing. I need to get down from this hill. going to do some chance in here. Not my favorite place and penetration. Leading shot. Got, Got him. him. That's what I said. Let's get a shot there. Another good shot. Okay. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to shoot him there. God, the load time's terrible on this guy. Armor is damaged. Okay, now let's see if we can climb this hill. Yeah, I will say that's probably my main gripe with this tank is such a slow loading time. Or not loading time, aim time. Up the hill, up the hill. Probably not the best tank to do this, but whatever. At least I'll draw the fire and uh, the rest of the team may be able to kill them. Let's see. I think I'll act as a spearhead here as I'm doing for the other guys. If I can get up here at least. Although there is an anti-tank there, which could do some damage. We lost the track. Penetration. Enemy armor is hit. 
There we go. Repair that track there. I was lucky there. I don't know why he didn't uh, take another shot at me, or unless he was uh, still reloading. Let's see if I can get a shot there. Let's see if I can get a long-distance shot. Probably won't. Nope. Yep, like I said, probably not going to be able to get that. And there we go. We won that one. No medals, but uh, 18, 10 direct hits. Another 9%. Not bad stats all around again. So I think I'm going to leave that there because I think that's a pretty good look at the AMX-38. Although I wasn't able to show you how painful it can be if you do get into the Tier 4 and 5 matches. Which, uh, it can be real painful. And again, might make some people uh, want to drop the French line. However, like I said, the thing to remember if you do get into the Tier 4 and 5 matches is to pick your targets and stick to doing the uh, light tanks or if you get a uh, opportunity on some tank destroyers that are being distracted by either firing at the heavies or some other tanks don't face them the uh, tank destroyers head on and stay away from the heavies and you should uh, you know you won't get uh, you know seven kills or anything like that on your tank but you should be able to uh, get some points for your team and you know contribute to the team by either distracting um, the other tanks or something like that so like I said I think that's going to be it for the AMX 38 and the next one we'll be looking at uh, the next tier 3 tank which is the continuation of the D1 line the D2 so until then